So here we are the folks. It is the 2nd of February 2019. We've had a lot of snow, but for some reason it's melting the lakes. Back home, it's like the Antarctic. Really bad. Got the lads up ahead. So I suggest we're going to get the angle torn and then we're going to scramble up with the pikes. See if we spend the night up there. There's plenty of snow up on the top as you can see. Uh, temperature ranges tonight round about minus, oh, minus six. So it's going to be a good, good cold night. Look at that man folks, imagine being on top of there now, checking out that view from high above. Priceless, you just can't compare with anything else, being up on a mountain in the snow, looking down at the valleys and things like that. Absolutely amazing. Back that way, that's Patty Hill. <sighs> Amazing. I'm going to get a warm up. I'm going to get this one. I do, but you are now. Can you stick balls in the ground? We're about halfway up, folks. Nearly there. Don't freeze. Is it? Oh, fuck. I'm froze there. What? No. Keep going. How was that here? Oh, good. Nearly there, folks. How blow up the distance is a uh, West Yorkshire camper? North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire camper. He actually recognised us. Recognised me first. Turn the camera on. Recognised me first, says I recognise you. You're a YouTuber. Quite nice to be recognised. It's actually subbed to my channel as well. There's Brothers Water which is frozen. Yep, beautiful. So I'm not sure if we're going up this way or along that way, but that's the pikes. <laughs> that's where we're hoping to stop up there at night, the pikes. This is amazing, this. Stun. That's Helvellyn, just above Daz. It's Cat's Eye Cam. St Sunday Crag. Gorgeous. Snow's pretty deep here. I'm warm, I'm too warm, I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, oh. snow as deep as out. It's hard going, but slowly getting up there. 
This is definitely just like nine standards, isn't it? Look at that, man. Taran coming up. Wow, look at that. I've just clambered from up there with you. You're coming down. This is mint. That snow is deep as anything. Look at that, folks. Stunned. Seven. I've had a cuppa, but uh, it's just so cold outside. I'll show you how cold it is actually. Quickly. Yeah, look there. Which is that? Uh, Two point nine. It was. Three. Oh, it's going up now. Mine's 2.5. I've got my hands on it. This was outside, so when I picked it up, it was minus three. I'm pull back outside. It just shows you how cold it is. Really, really cold. Oh, got snow in my trousers, that's not. Not good. Don't want to get anything wet in here because uh, it's going to be freezing tonight. Then it's going to get down about minus four, something like that. I'm starting to see. I spilled up in my air uh, on the inside. So I might keep my tent door open and try and 
so that the moisture can build up. Yeah, see the moisture since I've closed my tent door. <sighs> but I'm having a little tipple. A dozen lads is there in the tents. <sighs> I know you think this is hardcore. It is. It is hardcore. Coming out in these kind of temperatures and this high up. But it's what we do, it's something that we enjoy, you know. I love it, being out. But I can honestly see it. This is extremely cold. So just remember folks, if you want to try this, by all means have a little taster. But please, I kind of stress this, please make sure you have the right gear. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to come up here and realise you're not staying warm. Because it's not just you that you're putting in jeopardy, but it's the mountain rescue that's got to come out and rescue you. Because of your stupidity, sadly. And as you know, the mountain rescue is volunteers so I've said before take your gear out test it on a small little hill if you manage through the night all right extend to a bigger hill you know and so forth that's the way to do it so I don't know what I'm gonna have for me tea later on I've got some homemade dehydrated cabbage pie and I've got uh, a wayfarer bacon, eh, sorry, beans and sausages but, but Mr Coombs is like wanting to be up in the morning and gone nae diddy dallying around packing up nae messing around with your drone and blah 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 so I like to have a little bit of a lie in I don't know if I'll be able to have time to cook I've got snacks in that leg. Like. Yeah. So, yeah? Who's that, Me fans? Oh, you're sorry, Oh, you're alright. <laughs> He's asking us about talking to you. I'm talking to the YouTube community. <laughs> right. Yeah, well. Yeah, I'm going to get myself sorted. Actually, I might tidy up in here as well, it's like a bump site. It always is, you get so disorganised, you know. You're raking through, because you're in such a small space, you're raking through loads of gear, and you're like, oh, where's this gone, where's that gone? I mean, this tent, it's me Southern Cross 2, eh, sorry, Southern Cross 1, it's only got two, two pockets. You know, and put things to grab. So... Anyway, cheers. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, you won't believe me, but it's minus eight <laughs> outside. Me can is frozen. It's like a slush puppy. Um, it's ice in my tent everywhere. Exclusivity. EU exit. Like this. Exports. The facts. Leaving the EU 
on the 29th of March may mean your business needs to prepare for change. Even if you think your business won't be affected, it's worth double-checking. To help you prepare your business, you can find guidance and up-to-date information at gov.uk slash EU exit. You could be owed hundreds of pounds of compensation per passenger. Visit 747claims.com or call 100% free on 08000 747 here. Well, at least I've got the radio to keep us there, keep us seeing. Here's a laugh for you, folks. I've just going to get my jet boil, and there's some dregs of water in the bottom. Yep, it is frozen. That's how cold it is. That is absolutely mental. <laughs> In here, I have dehydrated beef, like ground beef. Um, so, gravy powder, dried onions, Mashed potato. And that, that's the dehydrated pork chop. I'm definitely not seeing what that is. <laughs> yeah. Dehydrated myself. Just cooked it till all the fat was gone. Then chopped up in slices and then dehydrated it. Whoa. So I'll put some in a the pot there, it's boiling away, it's going to rehydrate. I'm going to put a little bit there, mashed potato in there, and pour the hot water in there, and it's going to be a shepherd pie with pork chop. Just one of my concoctions I've come up with. So I'll bring you back when it's done and I'll let you know how it tastes. Bloody freezing. So, he's a gents, I'm going to get myself wrapped up. Ah, get warmed up. Hopefully I'll see you lot in the morning. That's how I survive. <laughs>
Oh, what a night. Even though it was uh, minus seven and that, I was absolutely sweating in this bag. Absolutely sweating about to take my pants off. All my fleeces and that. Crazy. See my booties off because my feet are sweating. Oh, didn't get much sleep at all. I started to get light and then that's when I nodded off. So, it would bad. What was that? So we start packing up. I'm not going to have any breakfast, I'm just going to have a, an old bar. Very strange night. Wind's been howling all night. Like this. So. Crazy. Right. This is me thermometer. I just want to show you. That is the maximum temperature we've had. That is the minimum. Minus 8.3 it was last night. Oh. There you go. 8.3. Just bite the right before. Don't get cut. It started to warm up and got around minus two sort of thing and that's when I started to sweat that would take me layers off and things like that but yeah, I'm pleased with that over the moon Right, we're picking our way down the mountain 